हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई अकेडमी दिस इज लेक्चर थर्टी वन एंड टूडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड फर्दर मोर अबाउट क्लॉक गेटिंग चेक्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव अंडरस्टूड वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्लॉक गेटिंग चेक्स आर देयर एंड वी ऑल्सो अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू इवेल्युएट एक्टिव हाई क्लॉक गेटिंग चेक्स हाउ एवर देयर वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम इन द क्लॉक सेंसिंग दैट वी डिस्कस्ड देयर इन द लास्ट एंड नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट फर्दर इन दिस वीडियो ऑल राइट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड सीन दैट होल चेक वॉज वॉयलेटिंग it was failing because here gating signal was changing too fast and we also discussed that if gating signal would have changed during the inactive period of the clock that is after 5 nanoseconds here so then this might not have occurred there is a possibility and we also told you that this is caused by the fact that sense of the gating signal here and the flip flop being gated are same so here we will discuss the possibility that what if your sense of the gating signal and the flip flop being gated are different so let us see here what does that mean is that here you can see that this clk a and clk b both are hitting a positive edge triggered flip flop but let's say if your gating signal this clk b is launched by negative edge triggered logic then what will happen if your clk a is negative edge triggered that means it is negative edge triggered and this is positive edge triggered what will happen is that you will launch the data only during this negative edge of the logic so the negative edge is this one so your active launch happens after this so only after the negative edge in the clk a occurs uff0 will launch the data and hit the gating pin so what will happen here is let's see the waveform here what will happen is your gating signal will launch the data in this period and the clock signal will be positive edge triggered so it will anyway launch the data here and our data will be captured at this edge so your launch is happening at 5 and you are capturing the data during 10 your window becomes 5 to 10 so this during this window you are supposed to get the data now let us look at the timing report what will happen so this is the timing report that you can see and here you can clearly see that your start point is 5 that means that it will start the launch at 5 so your launch is happening at 5 nanoseconds and you can see that also there is fall written here so that means you will have a fall edge only then your data will be launched also now you can see that data arrival only have clock to queue delay that is 0.15 so your data arrival is 5.15 this is your data arrival time and your required time is 10 nanoseconds so here also you will check 10 minus 5.5 and your slack will still meet so setup is still meeting here in this case because the data is very well before the capture of 10 so that is why your setup is again meeting now let us look at the hold timing report in this case this is a hold timing report let us also bring here the circuit and the waveform here for the reference so you can see that here in this circuit this is a negative edge triggered logic and this is going to the gating pin and as we discussed this is your active edge launch is happening at this edge and we were checking checking the setup at this edge now for hold what will happen is you will start the launch at this edge only and your same edge will become the falling edge so you will check the hold at this edge so now what will happen is when you are checking the hold what will happen is you will start your start clock is at 5 you can see that this is 5 so your start point is 5 and then you have a data part delay from the flip flop so your total arrival time becomes 5.13 and in the case of hold what will happen is your required time is 5 because it is a case of ideal clock but let's say uncertainty and other times are zero for the ease of calculation so you will check the hold at this edge only now you need you know that your data time that is your arrival time should be greater than required time for a valid hold and you can see that your arrival time is 5.13 and your required time is 5 so what will happen is your slack is meeting by a certain margin 
and that is because now the clock sense is different in the case of launch and in the case of capture you can see that this is negative and this is positive that's all for this video so far we have understood active high clock getting checks in the next video we will understand about active low clock getting checks please like share and subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to leave your important feedback in the comment section thank you